Hello, I'm Erin Halverson. Um, I have two different channels. I have Rag Rags by Erin and Lyle and I also have Halverson Camping Journal. This one's going to be a camping video. If you only want to see camping videos, go to Halverson Camping Journal on YouTube and view us there. Thank you. Hope you enjoy this video. Hi, we're Erin and Lyle Halverson with Halverson Camping Journal. We thank you for joining us today. Today we're at Payne's Creek Campground. This is a U.S. Army Corps of Engineers campground near Hartwell, Georgia on Lake Hartwell, which is basically one of the borders between Georgia and South Carolina. It's a, again, an Army Corps of Engineers campsite, um, which means that during the week they're largely uh, not being used. And big, spacious campsites, and we really like it here. Hey. We're, this is June 6th, and we're guessing it's about 75, 76 degrees out here. Um, we don't have the air conditioner running or anything, so um, it's really beautiful. There's a steady breeze, uh, just a light breeze keeping the bugs away. So some of the times when you're camping on the water, which you can see behind us, this beautiful lake behind us, um, there's a lot of times a bug situation, and we're not feeling that here. So we're going to go over and show you our campsite area and look down on some of these others so you can see these are some gorgeous campsites here and then show you some inland um, campsites that aren't quite as severe that maybe if you had a tent or was pulling with a different type of RV, um, smaller vehicle, that you might want to choose one of those uh, sites. And we'll talk to you about a few pros and cons of this uh, campground as well. So uh, join us and we'll try to do some brief little encounters along the way. Thank you. Some of the nice features of this Army Corps of Engineers campground are the large reservoir lake which will provide many hours of recreation. Uh, down here, two spots to the left, is a designated swimming area, um, fishing, boating. In fact, boat camping appears to be a very common activity. Uh, one person will bring the RV and the second person will bring the boat. Uh, put the two of them together, you got a good combination. This particular site uh, is terraced and has very nice steps uh, leading down off of each terrace level. They're level, they're flat, which is nice. Uh, this is site number 20 that we're on today, and uh, this would be a good way to good place to have a tent right over here, the other side of this nice concrete picnic table. You've got the uh, fire ring on the other side of it, and then uh, besides that, an actual barbecue grill. Um, steps leading up to the next terrace level, where the actual RV campsite is. As you go further up, you might notice that you've got a lot of shade in these sites. Uh, shade keeps the, the temperature down. We're very pleased to not be running the air conditioner today. Okay, we'll see you in a moment. All right, here we are on the other side, uh, the road side of the campsite, and it's just beautiful. Um, one of the cons that uh, we have about this campsite is there is no garbage pickup at or near the campsite. So as we film we're hiking out to the dumpster to get rid of our trash and it's not all that big of a con but uh, it's just something to mention um, in regards to the review of the campsite. Alright here we are at uh, one of the campsites. Uh, you have one drive it comes down here and goes both to the left and to the right, two different campsites. Um, these are pull through, it looks like to me, both of them coming out the other direction. Okay, now here's a back end campsite that uh, is spacious. It doesn't have as much shade, but you can see how. Uh, from here to the other side of the actual 
picnic table is probably 135 feet. I'm out on the road. This is how enormous and deep these campsites are. All right, here we are a little closer to the uh, first view campsite. And now what we're going to do is um, come around the corner and we're going up a hill where we're going to see some sites that are on the inside and not lakefront. Uh, they'll still be very nice. Okay, this is one of the typical inside loop campsites. Um, number 44 is still nice and deep back in sight. Very good shade. Uh, these are sites that are a little more advantageous to the type of person that doesn't have a heavy-duty um, RV that uh, can pull out of its steep inclines uh, that the sites are typically down by the water. Um, very nice campsites. You can see the adjoining two off to the left. And uh, these are water and electric sites only at this campground. But they sure are beautiful. Okay, see you in a moment. Now here I am at site number 39. And take a look at this. You have two different entryways to this campsite. Uh, from one side of the site to the other is probably 150 feet. Um, there, are, there are no sites next to it. Your privacy here would be phenomenal. Again, nice flat place down in there for the RV to sit at and electric and water, but just so spacious and and enjoyable. And uh, so, okay, thank you. Okay, so we made it to the proverbial dumpsters finally on our walk to uh, take the trash out. And you can see that uh, this is another con to the uh, campgrounds. The sites are just fabulous, but this could uh, this could use a little bit more attention. Somebody to um, pick up a little bit. Um, it just is something that uh, we thought you should know. Okay, now we're headed off to take a look at one of the bathhouses and uh, see. It. All right, now here we are at one of the bathhouses at uh, Payne's Creek Campground and we're looking at the road going to the bathhouse and it appears to me that uh, people that have to come and use the bathhouse are driving to it. This one is a good 1200 feet from, uh, away from the closest campsite. Um, so if you're thinking you're going to, see here comes somebody else, if you're thinking you're going to get yourself close to a bathhouse, um, yeah, you might not be able to. Uh, one thing we noticed about the bathhouse is um, they're not as clean as a state park uh, and, and not as numerous. And uh, some of the loops we've been to with the state park, there will be three or four in pretty close proximity to the campsites. Uh, I think this large spread out campsite, campground, has three and you got to be ready for a hike. Um, so, alright, so now we're going to head down to one of the beaches and see you there in a minute. Hey, here we are. We're finishing up at the last spot uh, and then on a good note here and uh, this is just one of the swimming areas that are available to you. This may be South Carolina across the water here. I'm not 100% sure. There's certain places when you look out that you are at South Carolina and the water's a little bit low, you can see, but if you look off here to our, our left here, here's uh, campsites 8, 9, and 10 and see how close they are to this water area for you if you have children or just it's all designated so you don't have to worry about someone fishing in this area and then you can see uh, over here this is a 7 um, and so you're very close to these places and this is just a beautiful um, lots of shade to sit up here and watch the kids play um, so 
come back and if you enjoyed it and uh, felt this was informative, subscribe and uh, give us a thumbs up and we'll be trying to bring you some more videos of other um, state parks and Army Corps of Engineer camping. So thank you, Lyle and Aaron Halverson.